Happy Father's Day. I was wanting to leave a message because this is a special day. If it wasn't for my most amazing dad, Roy King, I don't know how I would know the love of the Father God. Because my dad and mom made a decision almost 60 years ago now to stand before God and raise a, be together as one and raise a family and keep their word regardless of situations, regardless of what goes on with life. I, as their middle child, was able to see and stand on the Word of God with Jesus Christ being my Lord and Savior and Father God being my ultimate source with Holy Spirit guiding the entire way. This is not about if you don't have a father figure or if you don't know what I'm talking about. This is to thank God publicly for those men who have made the decision to seek God and to be a father the way God has intended regardless of feelings or self. And this is not a knock to anyone that is had challenges or is not a father or not able to stay together. This is not that. It is just thanksgiving for my dad my dad Roy who broadcasts with me every Monday it's not a coincidence that I was able to lay down my life in 2012 and serve God 100% the way I see it and the way I talk about it is that I was able to transfer my trust from the trust and love I had from my parents and counting on them when I was in my late 30s to transfer that trust to God being my total source. And that is why it wasn't as difficult for me to choose Jesus with everything from finances to um, social life to spouse to what I do every day uh, to just living my life. It's because the trust that one can learn from a dad being good for their word and doing the right thing even when it's not easy. It's a selfless life that parents live in my opinion or my parents have lived and I appreciate that because now I live under Father God a selfless life the best I can and it's because of this example. Okay, have a great day. Happy Father's Day. Thank you, Dad.